Today, I'm going to show you a tool called Flows and Power Apps Migrator. It's a tool that helps you migrate cloud flows and Canvas apps across sites or even Microsoft 365 tenants. My name is Dennis Molosov. Uh, my expertise is everything SharePoint, but in the last few years, I was also working a lot with uh, the Power Platform. So let's start with showing an example. Uh, you have a large flow, a cloud flow, that uses a SharePoint connector. Uh, it's connected to a specific source site, and it also uses some dependencies, SharePoint lists and libraries. Now, if I export this, then import it to a new tenant, you'll see that I need to do some manual manipulations. Uh, for example, um, well, I need to reestablish the connection, and then I will have to fix the site address. The site address can be fixed uh, manually like this, And then I would then realize that the list is missing, which is a dependency. Um, it's usually not a problem if your flow is relatively simple or small, but imagine you have a large flow, or even better, you have multiple flows uh, to migrate. And even worse, you can do it frequently, let's say every day, once you, you go from dev to staging to production, for example. Uh, so let me show you how the um, flow and power apps migrator tool solves this. So I'm going to already have it downloaded. So I'm going to run the migrate packages batch file. When I run it, it will first ask me to specify a source site and then a destination site. I'm going to specify a source one first, and then a destination site. Um, before, uh, by the way, before doing this, I am supposed to place the exported flow or app here. It could be multiple flows or apps, and I should place it in the source folder. Uh, once that's done and I run the tool, it'll uh, first, ask me to log into the original um, tenant, which I'm going to do. Then it should ask me which dependencies I need to bring over. So in my case, I, I'm interested in two lists. So in a destination tenant, I'm missing budget and tissues that need to move over here. So I'm going to select them, budget and issues. And uh, a few moments later, using the power of the PowerShell PNP tool, uh, the flow migrator is exporting dependencies, including customized forms using JSON and even content types if they are present in the list or lists. Then uh, once that's done, um, the next step is to connect to the target tenant. And as you might guess, the next step would be to import dependencies. So first, all, all SharePoint lists and libraries will be created on a target tenant. It should usually take uh, a few seconds. And uh, once that's done, the uh, dist folder will be automatically opened. Uh, this folder now contains a converted version of a package. So this converted package has a, a, an advantage. So when I import it, uh, you'll see in a few moments that it won't ask me to uh, manually uh, correct SharePoint dependencies like lists, libraries, views, all of it would be will be automatically uh, converted. So 
Just give it a few moments. Um, all right, so let me open the flow. When I open it, so voila, I don't need to correct any dependencies. The um, site address, the list uh, names are all corrected automatically. Behind the scenes, this uh, dependency was created. Let me prove that it was moved over. So these two dependencies were automatically migrated. If you want to migrate multiple flows, you simply export all of them, put to the source folder, and then just go over the same steps you've just seen. Also, this tool migrates Canvas apps and even solutions. Uh, you might have large solutions that you are preparing for your clients, for example, that um, might have hundreds of pages uh, guidelines, deployment guides. To avoid that, you can use the same tool. One of the cool things that you can do with this tool is to prepare packages for your clients or partners. So there is a there is a script called prepare deployment package for clients. So if you run it, it'll package your solution as uh, part of a folder that you can hand over to the client. The client on their side simply need to create convert packages. Um, they need to click convert packages batch script, and that will complete the installation on their uh, part, which is very useful. Uh, that actually could be probably done for something like CUE starter kit, which is not that easy to deploy. So the tool can be found under this URL. And if you want to use it, just simply download the latest release. There is a number of limitations and features that you might be interested in. Uh, you uh, you can check what's migrated, uh, like Canvas apps, uh, cl standalone cloud flows, solutions, lists, libraries. If you customize your lists with um, custom forms using JSON uh, formatting, that's also migrated. Uh, this solution doesn't migrate data. Uh, uh, content types are migrated. Lookup fields are unfortunately not migrated. Right, and you cannot migrate anything that uh, span, spans across multiple sites. So the limitation is that all of your SharePoint dependencies need to stay one, in one uh, site. All right, so that concludes it. Very, very cool, Dennis. Uh, thank you for, for sharing that. Really, I'm sure is going to save a lot of people a lot of time uh, and, and, you know, it, a, all the little amount of time we save adds up, allows us to go do bigger and better and cooler things. So uh, thank you for creating this. And also thank you for sharing it with the community. Really fantastic stuff. Thank you, David.